Hello, welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. What do video game characters, superheroes, and nerds have to do with fitness? You may not think a lot, but you're wrong. My guest today is Steve Camp. He's the founder of NerdFitness.com and the author of Level Up Your Life, How to Unlock Adventure and Happiness by Becoming the Hero of Your Own Story. Welcome to the program. Hey, Dr. Manny. Uh, all right, first and foremost, what is nerd fitness? Because you don't look like a nerd to me. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I, um, I'm proudly a nerd. <laughs> nerd fitness is this online community of people, uh, young and old, men and women, uh, that are interested in helping each other get, get fit, stronger, healthier, happier, mm -hmm. but also love nerdy things too, like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, and things of that nature. And what motivated you to kind of come up with this website? You know, I, I was somebody that struggled to, to get healthy and happy as well. Okay. And I couldn't find a great place on the internet that spoke my language. I Googled nerd and fitness and nothing popped up. So about seven years ago, I purchased nerdfitness.com. And since then, I've been helping other beginners get used to going to a gym, eating healthier, but still doing all the things that make them nerdy and, I, and keep them happy. I like the spin there. All right, one of the things in your book, and of course, one of the concepts of your uh, fitness.com website is that you know, for some people, they should pick a character to imitate, sure. right? Now, I myself, uh, I always wanted to be James Bond. <laughs> but the Who only doesn't? Thing that, the only thing that James Bond and I have in common is the martini, because I love <laughs> martinis. Everything else, you know, I don't fit the profile. So talk to me about that, picking a hero. How do I use that in order to kind of get fed and make myself happier? Sure. Well, I think so many people, when they think of health and fitness, they think, oh, I got to go to the gym, and I got to go on a diet, and right. step on a treadmill. Instead, when you reframe your life like you are the character, either in a movie or a game, and, and you emulate those characters that you love, be it James Bond, a video game character or something, it reframes it. Instead of saying, oh, I have to go to the gym, it's, all right, what is my quest or mission today that I need yeah. to complete? Uh, that, can I, <laughs> yeah, I, got, I, can I get it. stronger? Can I, get, uh, can I run one second faster? There's missions and quests to complete. It makes it more of a so, fun story to a, be a part of. A little of. imaginary type of story in your head to get you motivated and then set goals. Absolutely. All right, so give me some steps, um, you know, again. Let's use me as an example. Sure. I want to be James Bond. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so you say, okay, Manny, uh, you want to be James Bond. What steps should I take? Well, I think step one is start listening to the James Bond theme song far more often. Okay. Uh, step two would be creating small missions and quests for you that line up with your goal of becoming James Bond. So you're not just going to the gym but you're on like a super secret top mission or, you know, top secret mission okay. to... Uh, to gain strength and get stronger to prepare for this like, like adventure you're going to have down the road. It might yeah. be taking a trip or something along yeah, those like lines. like fitting through a door. In other <laughs> words, I gotta fit through this door, I'm gonna break in, I gotta lose a couple of inches of my waist so that I can fit through the door. I got the whole sure. thing. <laughs> All right. Um, also, in your book, uh, as you talk about these, you know, the character and building steps and all of that, you talk about rewarding yourself. Right? Sure. Um, very much a la uh, video game concept. Yes. Okay, so talk sure. to me about that. Well, when most people think of fitness, they say, oh, I worked out five days this week, so I've earned this giant chocolate cake, or I've earned this uh, something unhealthy. It's like they're taking three steps forward and four steps back. So instead, I apply video game mechanics to my life and think of rewarding myself with things that reward me back. Okay. So it, in a game, when you get to the next level, or you beat a new bad guy, you get to go a little bit further, you get more excited, it releases dopamine in your brain, you get so excited to continue playing. Right. Why not build rewards into your life as well? So if you can complete two straight weeks of exercising for just 10 minutes a day, okay. you might earn a new pair of running shoes or a shirt that's one size too small to encourage you to get a little bit slimmer to fit into it. Okay, so you know, get a prize of some sort, work towards the prize. Or, all right, that, that, that makes a, a lot prize, of sense. A prize that pushes you even further down this path, that new life you're building. How do you keep your motivation up? Or, or if, you don't, if you say to yourself, I'm not motivated, how do I get into a motivated type of mentality? Sure. Well, I tell you, if, if, I was, if I only exercised when I was motivated, it probably wouldn't happen very often. Right. So instead of relying on motivation, instead I've manufactured discipline okay. in my life. I put systems in place. I've used these reward systems to continue me down this path. I have friends that keep me accountable, very much in the game, like allies that you have helping you on your cause, your, your mission, your quest. Um, 
and then I put systems in place to make the default activity that exercise. So it might be sleeping in your running clothes so that when you wake up and your alarm clock is already across the room, <laughs> at that point you have to get out of bed to turn it off. You're like, well, I didn't get dressed up for nothing. Right, right. Might as well just go for my run. Right. And if I complete these runs over these next two weeks, right. actually get things done. So it's stop relying on motivation because it's so fleeting. Right. And instead put systems video game mechanics and recruit uh, powerful allies to your cause to keep you successful. In your website, uh, do you have, uh, is it, a, a, you know, like, like let's say I, I join your website, mm -hmm. is there social interaction from other members of the website to, to kind of help you, let's say, with, an, uh, with your mission or sure. doing this and the other? Absolutely, yeah. There is a there's a really thriving message board community. Okay. We have a fantastic Facebook community as well. Um, we have in person events that people can attend and get to meet other members of the nerd fitness community. Right. To call our community the Rebellion, right. uh, paying homage to Star Wars and the Rebel Alliance. So yeah. uh, we have people all over the world that are just waiting to help new people that join us and be a part of it. It's free. Um, it's great to be a part of, and we welcome anybody with open arms. All right. And uh, where can people get more information? You can find us at nerdfitness.com, and you can learn more about the book at nerdfitness.com or levelupyourlife.com. And, and the book is available everywhere. It's available everywhere. And not only that, when you go to levelupyourlife.com, you can create a character, create your quest list, and as you cross things off, your character levels up. There you go. You know, you can't make this up. You know, you cannot <laughs> make this up. You can become a superhero, lose weight, and be happy. Or become James Bond. James Bond. I can't wait to get the blonde. Thank you for joining us. And if you have any health questions, send your email at drmanny at foxnews.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.